Hello, happy Monday, you guys. Welcome to another Law School vlog. My name is Caroline. If you're new, I'm a first year law student and I'm sharing what law school is like. Last week was rough, but this week is gonna be better. This past weekend, I actually had a moot competition, um, which went really well. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing stuff like that. But this week I have a presentation on Thursday and a midterm on Friday, which is the source of a lot of stress. And then I have another oral advocacy competition this coming weekend, so a lot to do. No time to slack off this week, no time to be out of it. So right now I have con law in like two minutes. I got up this morning to start things off on the right note. So I got dressed, just wearing a little red blazer. Um, yeah. I have a package to pick up, so we're gonna do that right now. Just finished creme law. Um, so it's really pretty outside, but whenever I have my blinds open, it just feels so much colder in my room. So I have the heat blasting, but I feel kind of bad because like the environment. So I don't know, but I really like the view. Anyways, then go get my package. All right, so packages secured. Um, this is my supplement here. I'll open it and show you guys. So this is a supplement for Cremolol. A lot of upper years recommended it to us, so I got it. Hopefully it helps. I used supplements quite a bit last semester, so I feel like they're pretty helpful. Um, I ordered it from Ape Books. I don't know if you guys, for those of you who are in college, I hope you guys know about Slug Books. Slug Books, I'll link it in the bio, is a website where if you put in the title of your textbook, it'll search the internet for the cheapest places that you can buy it. And so it's a great way to avoid Amazon if you want, or often they find places that are cheaper than Amazon. So that's how I found this book. Okay, so my parents mailed me my like super heavy duty winter coat. Um, I had a winter coat here, but my parents insisted, so now I've got another one. Um, and then <laughs> a bunch of face masks, um, some snacks, oh, some COVID face masks. Yeah, the typical COVID college care pack. Um, so now it's just past 2.30. I really want to be productive today, but I think the first step to doing that is cleaning my room. Um, I think just being in a clean space always puts me in a better mood, so... Uh, when I get like stressed, I hoard and I don't clean very well, so gotta get rid of all of that. Okay, so that's like a little longer than I would have hoped, but the state of affairs in my room is no longer as chaotic as it was before. I feel ready and productive and I'm gonna start other readings for tomorrow. I did change out of my blazer because I decided to stop hurting the environment just so I could look cute. Um, so we're throwing on the hoodie so then we don't have to blast the heat as much and I get to enjoy the view, win-win. Um, I have to do my family law readings for tomorrow um, and I'm hoping to get those done by dinner because I have to outline for this midterm. Oh, hello! So I finished my family law readings for tomorrow, thank god. Time for our weekly Monday night trip to the library because we have to outline for con law. I think that's- I think there's supposed to be like a snowstorm or something coming soon, so... Hopefully that isn't like in the next two hours. It is snowing really hard though. So I just got back from the library because it closed. I changed into something more comfy and we are going to finish the con law outline tonight. Um, everything except today's class because I still have to rewatch that. Um, that's what we're grinding through tonight. So might be a little bit of a late night. And then I need to do some research for tomorrow. I have a networking call and then like a, a bunch of stuff. So 
finishing this outline and then some research and then hopefully kind of an early bedtime. Um, actually, you guys know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work out. Um, I have this yoga mat that's just been collecting dust in the corner. So I feel like this will be good. This feels like a productive thing to do. And then I'll give a little recap for the day because today went <laughs> much better than most days last week. So overall good day, but yeah, I'm gonna work out and I'm just gonna do it in like this and like my pajamas because I don't know about you guys, but like, ooh, that lighting is not it. But I don't know about you guys, but like, I think one of the biggest struggles for me between me and working out is like having to change into my gym clothes. So now I've just kind of been like, okay, I'll do whatever I need to do to work out. And so if it just means doing it in my pajamas, still work out, you know? All right, so I'm in bed, as you may be able to tell. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of research on the guy I have my networking call with tomorrow. He's a machine alum who works in New York in litigation. So I just wanted to talk to him about his practice, what it's actually like. And it's just, it's like just customary to do some research on him beforehand. So you have like, you aren't going in blind, which is like, just so you're respectful of his time. And so you have some questions to ask about. I like a little crazy, but we're multitasking, so that's okay. So a little bit of a Monday wrap up. Today, I think was one of like the better days I've had in the last two weeks. I was very productive today. I finished my readings for tomorrow pretty fast. I was able to finish my comma outline, although very rough and outline exists. So it was really good. So I'm very happy with how today went. Definitely things are getting better. I was on call for con law today. And for the past two weeks, I've just been feeling like, like just really struggling to keep up with the con law. But today I answered the questions well. I remember feeling when I was doing the readings for today that I understood things really well. And that came through in class. I was able to follow follow along in class really well. We're on preemption in con law. So I think a lot of the confusion from the past two weeks was just that interstate commerce is very confusing. Um, and the doctrine there is super confusing, which is why I was confused. And I actually spoke to a few friends in my class who made me feel a lot better because they were like, yeah, this is just like a confusing topic. It's not just you. And having reviewed it tonight, I definitely understand it a lot better. So con law is looking up, killed the code call today feeling really good in that class. I think it's super important to have friends that like are able to make you feel better about your like about how you're doing in law school. And I think that's what Michigan like that's what's so great about Michigan. Really great people here. I had a good day you guys. Today was a good day. Good morning everyone. Um happy Tuesday. It snowed so much last night. It's so pretty outside. Um I'm dressed a little bit more formally today because I have a like coffee chat zoom call with a Michigan alum and so you just need to present yourself kind of a little bit more formally. Also, I was asked to talk on this law school panel at um, for like a college at U of T. So just talked about like what going to law school at Michigan is like and just sharing my experience. But first we have family law. Um, just finished family law, which we covered like domestic violence. And I didn't realize how gendered the issue was. Um, we, we went over like a uh, civil protection orders and stuff today. And it turns out there are some states that won't give civil protection orders for same sex relationships. Something that was really stressing me out about this class was that it's all participation based. There's no code calling. And like when you're a one L in a class with, maybe this is just a me thing, but when you're a one L in a class with two L and three Ls, it can be a little bit intimidating to just put up your hand. And I feel like volunteering is hard because like, I feel like it's worse when you say the wrong thing if you're volunteering. So I have been like, it's been a stress of stress, but I emailed the prof and she was super nice. She was like, like no need to participate in class. If like that stresses you out, you can feel free to send me like written like participation responses before class. And it's just super supportive. So um, I just wanna say that like, you know, if law school or like participating in class is something that stresses you out or talking in class, the profs are super accommodating. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab lunch now.
Um, so I just finished my networking call and he was so nice. He made me really like his firm and like, it sounds like his, there's a great culture there. He gave me some really great advice. Don't stress out about one now jobs too much. They don't matter, just get one. So um, I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna go meet up with my classmate from Forensic Science. We have an, a presentation that we need to figure out. We're doing it on arson investigation, which is pretty cool. But um, that, that coffee chair just put me in a really good mood. Look how cute our presentation is. Oh my God. I am so tired of potatoes, pasta, and chicken. Just all the time. It feels like this is what the dining hall has like every other day. I just, it just suddenly hit me how tired I am. But I have to work on Tom Law. Um, in about half an hour, I'm meeting up with some friends to go over our outline. So I need to polish mine up and then also do some practice midterms tonight. Um, I changed this to something more comfy. Uh, going over the Tom Law outline was really helpful, I think, just talking through it. I just, I think I'm understanding interstate commerce a lot better now. So yeah, feeling good. Uh, I forgot to mention the guy I was ta doing a coffee chat with told me that every firm searches up all of their like interviewees on social media so if you're wondering if they ever check your social media activity they do um i'm gonna try and get more of these because i really enjoy talking to people about their jobs i get really nervous before them beforehand because i'm like oh what if i say something dumb but like they're really nice and they love talking to students so i should be less nervous and it's just a great way to figure out different kinds of law practices whether that's something that i might be interested in yeah so forgot to include that but yeah now i have to do my readings for tomorrow thank god i only have one so i didn't start off the day as early as i wanted but still woke up earlier and I didn't need that sleep, so that's fine. Um, I did my hair in this like cute bubble thing. It's like on trend now or something. Um, just wearing a sweater and some jeans. We are gonna get through some of my crim readings that are due today, and then we have Con Law. Um, for Con Law, we had like a practice midterm that she assigned, and she's a Dover in class, so hopefully it's really helpful. I realized that I don't really vlog with my hair up. And this is why, because it's like, I need to do something that'll like get my baby hairs to stay down. And because it kind of looks like an egg when it's up, but that's okay. Oh my God, so many thoughts in my brain bring full. I'm gonna tell you guys some of them because why go to therapy when you can just talk to YouTube and post it on YouTube? <laughs> okay, so first, um, I just finished crim law and I got cold called and this was the case, thank god I read it. <laughs> Cause towards the end I kind of just skimmed some of the cases. Um, so I was able to get the answer. But actually I bought my textbook off of someone else and the person or the people who had my textbook before me had like underlined and highlighted main points of the case. So one of the questions he asked me was like about specific wording from the case, like this a very specific line that the judge said. And I knew what the answer was because the person before me had highlighted and like was like, this is important. So that's a reason you guys should buy your book secondhand. There are tips in there that help you with your classes. But yeah, so killed that code call. Had a little bit of help, but you know, I'm gonna take partial credit. So that put me in like a good mood. Cram, I'm like following along. Not as much stress as con law. It was a little bit rough in the beginning of like the semester, but Krim is like kind of chill now. Um, towards the end of the class, I was checking my email. Don't do that in class, but not recommend, but like, when it's like job season, like I feel like I get a pass for checking my email. And I got this email from this firm and they were like, so it wasn't like an interview, but they were like, hi, like just wanted to check that you were still interested in this in this position. And so I replied, I was like, yes, of course, please. But like, I'm gonna take this as good news because it is like the only like kind of thing that even resembles good news that I've gotten at all in this process. So even if this is like just a mass email they send to everyone, which I'm just gonna believe that it's not. I'm just gonna believe that it was targeted at people they actually want. So a little bit of like a job update. I got this feeler email. Could also just be a mass email, but 
that's what it is so all right now that i've emptied my brain i only had two thoughts but it was full so i'm gonna um work on a script for my presentation for my seminar tomorrow and then we are back on the con law midterm grind I love French onion soup days, so I'm very happy about dinner tonight. Um, so I wasn't in order to the library after dinner, but it's like freezing outside, so we're just gonna stay in my room. <laughs> Getting ready to go to bed before midnight? Who am I? Um, but yeah, I've had... I don't know if it, you call it a productive day, but I feel like I'm in a good place. I've done my readings for tomorrow, which, you know, thankfully weren't that much. I feel kind of ready for my midterm on, on Friday. I could be more ready, but like, it is what it is. I'm gonna outline tomorrow before I go to bed, but like, yeah, this was a good week, you guys. It was, I think, because there were just all these deadlines this week and all these things I had to do, it really forced me to get like, off my ass and do it. Just a little bit more outlining before I go to bed. Good morning. I have like legal practice in like five minutes. Okay, so I just finished legal practice and normally I would have calm law in like half an hour but she actually canceled class today, so we did have like more time to study for the midterm, which was really nice. Um, so I'm gonna spend this time working on my outline and I might take a nap because that feels like midterm prep to me. You know, you wanna be rested before a midterm, which is tomorrow, but I feel like a nap sounds really good. Okay, so I didn't take a nap, but I did get ready. Um, and I have crim in like two minutes. Just finished crim law. Also just got rejected from another job. I think that's like 10 and counting now. Love that. Anyways, in crim we're doing mens rea right now, like the mental component. And it just it's just really feeding the L woods inside me. It's like kind of hit me that I have a con law midterm tomorrow. And so my internal dialogue right now is just like screaming, just one continuous scream. And that's that's how I'm feeling. But um, right now I'm gonna film my video that's gonna go up tomorrow. So if you're seeing this, it'll already be up. I'm filming a quick like how I study for exams because I said I was gonna do that and it's been a minute. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, and then I have to get back to the con law grind. I'm about to do my forensic science presentation on fire slash arson investigation. Yep. Yeah. Also, it's snowing outside. Just finished my forensic science presentation. I forgot to mention the fact that I did it for my room because it just feels more natural to present without a mask on. Um, didn't go grab dinner. And then more calm law studying, which is honestly all that I've been doing. Okay, I just spent like the past four hours reviewing con law. I spent an hour on a Zoom call with a friend going over everything. Feeling as prepared as I will be for tomorrow. Like it is what it is. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp about the concepts. I'm just a little worried about dry announce like connections to the cases, but we'll see how things go. I'm gonna head to bed because I wanna get a nice full night of sleep. Good morning, um, con law midterm today. Yeah, stress levels are high, but I think it'll be okay. And plus, it's not worth that much. It's only worth 25%. And so like, I should, like, and I'd rather, like I guess it is beneficial to kind of know how you're doing before the final exam. So, you know, looking at the bright side, I do have family law in like 10 minutes. So we're gonna go to that and then write this midterm. <laughs> T minus half an hour until my midterm. Um, yeah, we stressing. 
that, that's really, really all I've got to say. It's done. So technically I'm not allowed to like talk about the content of it until March come out, but I feel like YouTube is fine. And I'm not really talking about content, just how I feel. So let me give you the breakdown. There was a minute, like there was like a solid three minutes in the beginning where I was like, oh my God, I have like no idea what this is, like what the issue is, but I think I got it. So yay. Um, now I have to, oh, this is really shaky, sorry. Now I have to edit my video that was supposed to go up today, um, but I haven't touched it because of this midterm, but I have to do that now. Like for the past two weeks, my whole identity has just been con law midterm. So gotta think of something else now. Oh my god, I've been trying to edit this video for an hour and I just can't focus. I'm like two minutes in. I've just been like talking to friends and stuff. I think it's just like the post midterm. Like I was focused on something for so long and so intensively that now my brain is just like, all right, I'm taking a break. I still have not opened the OEC thing for tomorrow, which is the oral advocacy competition thing. So time to go get my weekly COVID test. Alright, we're back, back to editing this video. I have a call with my senior judge for my legal practice class and like half an hour to go over my draft brief, which was not very good. So I'm expecting feedback along those lines. Ah, I finally finished editing my video and she is exporting. There she is. Um, I look rough, but I just had my senior judge meeting and he gave me a lot of feedback on, a lot of helpful feedback on my, um brief i think the things i struggled with he identified so he gave some really good tips there and so i'm glad that like the content is there i just need to work on structure a little bit time to grab some dinner and then crack open this oac case for tomorrow <laughs> in like an hour some of my friends and i are gonna zoom and like go over the case so i really need to read it it's always so satisfying closing tabs after a big final or a big test because this was not a final. Anyways, um, I have to read this thing before tomorrow and formulate an oral argument. And it's 30 pages, 30 pages. Who, who let me sign up for this? Who, who, who let me think it was a good idea to sign up for an oral advocacy competition that was the day after a midterm and the weekend after my moot competition? Like, what? why did I do this to myself and who let me? And it's too late to drop out, so yikes. Okay, so that's it for the week. Let's do a little bit of a weekly recap. This week, much better than the last two weeks. I didn't feel as burnt out. It was just a much better week. We'll see how the call on midterm is. Um, I think this week like forced me to actually be super productive because I had all these rigid deadlines. Like I have OAC tomorrow, which I'm really regretting signing up for, but that's fine because we love a type A personality. Anyways, so yeah, just wanted to share that I had a good week. I think part of it is that like for the next month or so i won't have any like major external stress like i still have assignments and stuff but um it like the next major assignment is just going to be like finals like that's the next thing and so i'll start stressing that stressing out for that and like end of march itch so we have like a couple weeks where we can breathe a little bit and it's just the normal readings and also find your job but i'm like i'm that'll come so yeah that's it for the week you guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and See you guys on the next video.